Marshall, these look like the same person asking that. Please throw some light on the role of fathers in giving dini ta'aleem. I don't know what's ta'aleem exactly. Education. Or education, or especially to boys. Now you see my... I, I put a proviso here, please. This is my philosophy. Yeah, this is my own personal philosophy. This is how I look at it. So you can take it or leave it. You can have a totally different approach. Some ulama, their approach is, they sit down with their family, they give them a dars once a week. They do that. You see? I, that's, not my, that's not my way. And I'm not, I'm not saying my way is better, just my philosophy. You see, for, for me, number one thing, and I'm not saying I'm a good example, no way. But, a brother asked me this question yesterday, holding his son. What's your advice? I said, number one, be a good example. So there's a beautiful saying, they say Gandhi said it, I don't know who, it doesn't matter who said it. Be the change you want to see in the world. If you want to see a change in the world, you need to be that change. People complain about, oh, the Muslim ruler is this, the Muslim ruler is that. And, but when you look into this brother's life, how is he as a ruler of his own family? Worse, he's more of a tyrant. <laughs> yeah? Oh, look how the people treat us, the rulers treat us, they give us, you know, they don't give us our rights. But does he give his wife his rights? Huh? His wife works like a slave? Huh? Even if he had a dog, his dog will be treated better than the wife. Really? And then he complains about the tyrant rulers. Subhanallah. If you want to see the change, be the change. Be the ruler you want to see. If you want to see the rulers, imagine how would you like the ruler to teach you. Then be like that with your wife and kids. That's your, that's your kingdom. That's your, your emir. That's your emirship. You are the emir. It's amazing. I see these people say, those people, they don't judge by what Allah revealed. They're kuffar. But yet in his own house, there's no sharia. And I don't mean, you know, like even basic things like, you know, if his kid comes home with a painting and he'll, you know, put the picture on the, you know, I'm not going to say whether this is what, what you should do or not. But, you know, he will criticize people. Look, there's images all over the place yet in his own house. He has this. No, no. And when you say, okay, so you're a kafir then because you're not implementing uh, what Allah reveals. No, no, no. It's only for the rulers. <laughs> it's only for the rulers. Not for me. Subhanallah. How do you judge? Yeah, I'm just saying, I, I'm not making any ruling on who's what. I'm just saying, look at the mindset. Look at the mentality. You see, if you want a change, you want to see the change, be the change. You want justice and compassion and mercy, be justice and compassion and mercy. If you want deen for your children, be deen yourself. Be deen yourself. Live the example. You don't want your children to smoke? Why are you smoking then? You don't want your children to listen to music? Why do you listen to music? You don't want your children to watch movies? Why are you watching movies? No one will respect you, even your own children will not respect you, especially. No one respects hypocrisy. So this is the first thing. Fathers, you want good. The best thing you can give your children is good manners. And how do you give your children good manners? By, by having good manners. They will see it. Look how, and that's what they do. Children will imitate you. They will imitate you. You'd, and then you... When I say you don't have to teach them anything, that is how you teach. That's how I teach. That's how I teach. You see, so I don't have formal lessons for my kids. Every day is a lesson for my kids. Every interaction is a lesson for my kids. Every time they eat at the table, everything, I am, I am telling them all the time. What is Islam? If I'm not telling them, I, hopefully I am showing them. Yeah? So this is the, really the way to give the good example to the bo uh, boys. Also my advice to all fathers. Some very key things, that, so number one is to set a good example. The, and um, I include in this what you eat. Most of us eat rubbish. We eat rubbish. Right? We eat a lot of rubbish. If you study biology, the human body is made of cells, right? 
and the strength of the, and the weakness of every cell in your body is determined by two things. The nutrition it receives, and if the nutrition is good, the cell is strong. If the cell is strong, it will resist disease. If the nutrition is bad, if you have lots of sugars and hydrated vegetable oils, and, oil, you know, and, you have, and so the cell will be weak. And the other thing that damages the cells are toxins. So poisons damage the cells and they make it weak. So if you're taking in poison in your body in different ways, it's gonna, and so what do you want? You want your child to be strong. If you want your child to be strong, stro a strong child is not a fat child. I know in some cultures, you know, when they see a person who's like so big, they say, mashallah, he's very healthy. No, 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 he's, that's not healthy. Not in Islam. All right? Even the Prophet ﷺ, Omar ibn al-Khattab, when he saw a man, he was overweight, he said, what is this? He said, it's barakah. He said, no, it's a curse. So, feeding your children the right food, and you yourself eating the right food, nutritious, vegetables, fruits, lean meats, this is the good stuff. Lots of fruit and vegetables. I know too many people, Muslims, they don't eat anything green, they don't like the look of it. Don't look at me then, I'm green. Okay. They can't even stand the sight of something green. You know, like, oh, that's rabbit food. Rabbit food, yeah? Okay. Well, that's why a rabbit can hop around everywhere and you can't even move from one thing. You know, you, it's, you have a problem even getting out of the masjid. So this is the other thing. The other thing is physical exercise. I told the brother yesterday, when the Sahaba were fighting jihad, According to what I have studied, the sword of Ali ibn Talib, what's it called? Zul, Zulfikar? His sword? Was it? Zulfikar. His sword, 14 kilos. Can I say that again? 14 kg. That's the weight of the sword. And they are fighting with this sword for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hours. These are people who rode camels, who rode horses, who fetched their own food, who fetched water. The women, forget the men, the women would go and fetch water, carrying the water. I'm sure any one of the women of those times could beat you up, every one of you. Seriously. Probably with one finger. Seriously. And it's not just for men. Girls should be tough. They should be strong. Look at Aisha and the Muslim women. When the men were fighting jihad, they were, they were there running back and forth, tending to the wounded. That's not, some, that's not for the faint-hearted. They would go with their men on the, on the battles. Not to fight, but there to support. Anyway, I, I don't want to get diverted. I was going to go into something else, but I won't. The point being is that this physical toughness is very important. Okay? So, you should, you should do sports. You, fathers, should do sports. And you should do martial arts. And you should that, and you show the example. It's not, oh, child, go off and go, go and learn Wing Chun. Where's your Wing Chun? How good is your Kung Fu, Dad? Oh, this is my Kung Fu. Parata, you know, curry. That's it. It's my Kung Fu. Yeah. No, you do it as well. I started doing martial arts. Two, I mean, I did it when I was a kid. I started doing it again. I'm 53. Two years ago, I started doing mixed martial arts again. Why? Because I'm not going to say to my kids, off you go, go, you do it. I'm going to do it with them. My dad, I remember my father was not, uh, alhamdulillah, he died Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, he died Muslim. But he was not Muslim when he was like this. He was 60 years old. He learned windsurfing at 60. Windsurfing. I mean, windsurfing is incredibly athletic. Learning it is it's 60 years old. Subhanallah. So this is the ta'aleem, brothers, uh, that you need to give, alhamdulillah, to the boys and the girls, not just the boys. Okay. Um, through example, this is the most important thing. Good diet, good exercise, uh, have good manners, show them through your example, and build in the teaching of Islam to the everyday life.
Because then they will not look like Islam is some alien thing. Like here is Islam. This is, this is part of the problem with the madrasa system. You know, the kids go to madrasa, they put on the outfit, they put on the topi, they sit there, right? And Islam is this thing they learn in the mosque and then they come out and there's, it stops. Actually, I don't send my kids to madrasa. There's a reason for that. Because I don't want to create this disjointed type of... Me- I mean, I know for some people that's the only practical thing. I'm not saying it's, you know, whatever. Alhamdulillah, a lot of good comes out of it.